I was on holiday in France and I actually passed blood in my urine. 70 year old Peter Hale knew he had to get his symptoms checked out, initially fearing prostate cancer. He was referred to a consultant urologist. I went to the doctor immediately, I returned home from France, um, and I was referred to the consultant, Alan Doherty. He gave me a physical examination first of all and confirmed that my prostate was enlarged and there was a lump. Later results um, revealed that there was no cancer in my prostate, the lump is benign. When a patient wants reassurance that they don't have an aggressive prostate cancer, there are two main things I can do. One, which is the most unpleasant one, which is to feel the prostate, and unfortunately that requires a digital rectal examination. But if a prostate doesn't feel cancerous, then it's unlikely that there is currently a problem. There may still be one coming around the corner, but, but not today. The second thing is, is to uh, measure the PSA blood test, which is the prostate-specific antigen. This blood test is relatively easy to do and nowadays it can be analysed within 10 minutes and patients can come in, have a discussion, an examination and go home with the results of a blood test all within 10 minutes, which is pretty impressive. Mr Doherty also uses a PCA3 urine gene test to assess the risk of prostate cancer. After all tests indicated Peter had a benign growth, he went on to continued PSA surveillance. Happy that no biopsy was needed, yet with continued peace of mind. A great relief, and I initially saw Alan about every couple of months for the first 12 months, and now I see him once every 12 months. I saw him recently in September, where he's, he's very pleased with everything, and I feel very comfortable knowing that. In England and Wales, we have coming up to 10,000 people who die of prostate cancer a year. Now, they weren't born with metastatic prostate cancer. That happened at some stage. And I think having information and making your treatment decisions based on information has got to be better than just waiting to see what's around the corner. A combination of advanced diagnostic tests means those results together provide a better idea of the risk of prostate cancer and any future action. For some, continued surveillance is the best route forward. I feel confident that Alan really knows what's going on in my body and I'm quite happy to do whatever he asks me to do and I know that I can go back at any time and see him if I do have problems. We are always looking to get as much uh, information from a, a variety of different modalities whether that's from radiology, whether it's from the urine gene test, whether it's from the PSA just to get a good idea, whether it's from the family history, we're, we're looking to make uh, an assessment of the best treatment for you as an individual. Everyone is different. Everyone has different characteristics.